Dick Mason is regarded as the outstanding trainer of New Zealand racing's first half century. From his Canterbury base, Mason trained winners of more than 200 black type races on both sides of the Tasman, a record that stands to this day. Mason's career took off in the mid-1880s when his training skills and ability to assess horses attracted the attention of George Stead. They formed an exclusive owner-trainer partnership which saw the Stead colours dominate New Zealand racing for the next 22 years. A career highlight was a successful Australian campaign of 1905. Isolt was one of the three Mason-trained horses to win eight races over four days at the AJC Spring Carnival. A new alliance was forged with another Canterbury businessman, George Greenwood following Stead's death in 1908. Greenwood only took up racing on the condition that Mason joined him. It was a wise decision as the records show that Mason's achievements on the track continued to mount. He won another 11 derbies, taking his total to 30, 10 Jackson plates and 9 Canterbury Jockey Club Challenge stakes, all up another 57 black type races on both sides of the Tasman Sea. Much of this success can be attributed to the brilliant gloaming. With 57 wins from 67 starts in New Zealand and Australia, Mason naturally regarded gloaming as the best horse he ever trained. Gloaming's long career is attributed to the horse skills and knowledge of Mason. He overcame problems with shin soreness and bleeding when gloaming was two. Then when gloaming broke down at seven, many thought it was the end of a wonderful career. Not Dick Mason. He persevered and gloaming returned to the track to win again. Mason's record is even more remarkable when we consider that he never trained more than 20 horses at a time and basically only raced at major carnivals after 1887. Mason's 30 derby wins were to remain an Australasian record for half a century. He died in 1932, just a week after his great champion, Gloaming.